Um, I'm new to the YouTube community. I figured, you know, why not get one, a YouTube account, and everyone's so hyped up about it, I just, you know, might as well get one. I don't really have any other thing to do, really, but, I mean, I guess I'll use it as some kind of diary, you know? Some people use it to post videos of themselves just talking, or video, you know, whatever. I'm just going to use it as kind of a diary. So I guess I could tell you about my life. As I said before, my name is Ruth Young. I'm a Chinese-American woman. My parents raised me here. I don't really know much about their Chinese tradition. My mom is a huge, you know, she's all about China. And then she's always on my case. You need to be more Chinese. And, you know, I just, I don't, I like America. You know, English is good for me. Um, my, I'll see, I, I live with uh, my friend Art. He, um, he has two daughters that live with him as well. And, I, you know, they're, they're their own people. I, I just, I don't really speak up around them. Cause let them be and let me be. Anyways, I, um, this is it for this video. I guess I'll just post whatever, anything happens. So, bye. Today I found a note and a desk that I was working at. I asked my mom about it and she said that it was for me. So I started to look at it and I, I noticed that I could not read it. Um, I asked her if she could help me and she got mad at me. She said, you're supposed to know you're Chinese. And I said, I don't know Chinese, you know. So, I'm, I have to figure this out. And I was thinking, if I could do one sentence a day. So far, I've gotten a few lines. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read you what my mom has written that she remembers from her past. Uh, Luling Young, my mom, is Ruth's mother. Luling has two husbands who are dead. Luling and Ruth are the same but opposite, for Ruth was born in Water Dragon Year, while Luling was born in Fire Dragon Year. Luling forgot the name Precious Auntie told her to never forget. So as I'm reading this note, I'm finding out about my mother's past, and it feels like she's been keeping secrets from me, and her mom has been keeping secrets from her, and I just, I can't, it makes me feel empty inside. I don't understand, I feel like a part of me is missing. I'm almost done with the story. I confusing still. I, I can't really figure it out yet. Um, but there's there's this precious auntie woman and she was watching out for Luling when she was a kid, you know, and she's a nursemaid and she became a nursemaid after she, this horrible accident had happened to her. She had tried to kill herself by swallowing fire and I haven't figured out yet why she tried to kill herself. I finally finished the story. My mind is blown away. In the beginning it seemed as precious auntie was my mom's aunt. In reality she wasn't. She was her real mother. That's what she didn't want her to forget. She she forgot her mother's name. Her mother's real name. The name of the bone setter's daughter. She was the famous bone setter's daughter. First off, you have to understand that I used to see shooting stars all the time. Still do. My mom always thought that it was bad luck, you know. Whoever sees the stars, sees ghosts, it's, it's bad luck. But you wouldn't think that a shooting star would be bad because, you know, it's so bright, it's lively, it's good. Okay, hold that thought. Back to when Precious Auntie tried to kill herself. She tried to kill herself because her husband was murdered um, on the day of their wedding and she was pregnant with my mom, Luling, and she wanted, you know, to kill herself because she was all alone pregnant and um, that's why they switched moms. Um, Luling was given up to Luling's aunt, well, precious auntie, Luling's real mother, was seen as Luling's aunt. <laughs> Eventually, Precious Auntie did end up killing herself because the son of her husband's murderer 
planned on marrying Lu Ling, and Precious Auntie didn't approve, obviously. Who would approve, you know? So she was trying to tell her the truth about her being her real mother, but she wouldn't listen. So she went off and got whatever, and um, Precious Auntie killed herself. This is where I come in in the story. When Precious, Precious Auntie killed herself, my mom, you know, went into hysterics. So when I was a kid, she would always, you know, try to make me speak to ghosts. And she would always feel like Precious Auntie was coming back to haunt her or something like that. Because, you know, she, she was hurt. She felt like it was her fault. And she felt like a, she had let a curse or something off. I, my mom's really superficial. So this is where I found out that Bone Setters, the family of the Bone Setters, didn't really have much luck. They were always, something bad was always happening. Precious auntie killing herself, her husband getting murdered, my mom being absolutely crazy. <laughs> What's really cool is I found a picture and it was of my mom's mother, Lu Ling's mom. And on the back of the picture it had a name, and the name translated to Shooting Star. Shooting Star, which means, you know, a happy, good, it's a good name. So I figured it out. Everyone's happy. Ling knows her real mother, Precious Auntie. Precious Auntie's real name is translated to Shooting Star, which is happy, not, not bad, not bad luck. Like, Luling would think, like, Luling thought. Um, I mean, it's just, it's so cool, you know? I figured it out. I feel so happy. I feel complete. I feel like I'm a part of something huge. I just, my life, ooh, wicked, wicked, really wicked. I think I'm Chinese, I'm Chinese, obviously. Um, my parents are Chinese. Wow, obviously they're Chinese. If I'm Chinese, my parents are Chinese. Oh, this is stupid. As I was reading, I forgot my wig. Lord! I was, you know, chilling elsewhere. So I went over. Chilling. I can't say slang. Aw, oh, dude! Being stupid. It's too late. It's like 1 40 in the morning, and I'm like. Huddling at this at 1.40 in the morning, Miss Bennett. So, I should have been more prepared, but I'm not, and I don't want to get up in front of all those people. Oh, it's okay, Brie, you don't have to do that. It's okay, you can just fail.